Okay. The final chapter, chapter five, is the case. As you can see, the case is a hard plastic. Um, it's corrugated. Uh, it's it's looks like it has um, stickers on it or it's painted. Actually, isn't the finished product is actually going to be embossed, actually molded into the plastic. Um, the case itself is. Um, Think of it as a plastic luggage that you see in the airport. Very, very sturdy. Not going to break. Um, I'll show you the features. First of all, it has a handle for easy carrying. Uh, it also comes with a removable shoulder strap, so you can put it over your shoulder. We'll get this out of the way, though. Um, comes right off. If you need it, you can use it to carry wherever you want them. But basically, it it can be removed very easily uh, when you're not using it. You can throw it inside the the carrying case. But um, this is the case itself. Um, it has a external zipper. Opens up like a flute case. Yeah, to store everything. I'll open it up for you right now. When you open it up, there's two sides. One side um, has Velcro straps to hold gear in. They're crisscrossing. This particular one doesn't have crisscross, but it will. The interior of the case will be all black. Here's another strap. Holds everything in place. And the other feature that is on both sides is a small carrying pouch. You can stick things in here to keep them a little more secure when traveling. So, um, we have a divider in between. And this basically keeps everything from bouncing around too much and, and getting all mixed up. The um, center part, half of it, the uh, divider, has a zipper, all mesh. And this is where we store our pulley lines, diff all three different um, lengths. Now on the other side, it's similar to the one you just saw, it has a storage bin for travel. If you want to put uh, one side, you want to put your fishing rod, your fly gear, anything you need. Uh, it keeps it separated, and again, this flap in the middle that's padded keeps everything from bouncing around, keeps it manageable. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it packs with the gear in it. Um, basically, you can put your pulley. I normally put it on the outside, so I won't put that in the package. We've got the three, three pulley lines. The black which is 18 and a half feet. The teal is 15 and a half feet. And the gray, that's how they package in the, the case. You zip those up so they don't bounce around. See, works very nicely, holds them all, easy access. Uh, all the caps for the rods the, the, that are, aren't being used, all the pulleys, the guides go in the bag. Easy to take care of, 
put it all together, keep it all together, then you have an option of either just leaving it on the side. Uh, sometimes I take it and I slide it under this so it doesn't bounce around. Um, easy access. The other thing that I do is we put the the rod holders and we by the way we have two of them so when you set up our system you don't lose a rod holder to put our system in that's why we have two rod holders um, you can put them in each other side by side it really doesn't doesn't make a difference it's there just for storage in this particular case, you have a little extra space for the boat mount, but of course, you know, it um, will be mounted on the boat, so this won't be in the case at all. The last part is the rods themselves. The ten and a half, usually uh, twelve foot boat, smaller boats. Then you have two more pieces, which is the fifteen and a half. And lastly, the last tube uh, that makes it eighteen and a half. There's nothing on the market right now from anywhere. That you'll get longer than 18 and a half feet even the big boys so that's pretty much how it works you can put extra gear extra lures so forth on one side we'll just close this up think of it as a flute case very simple to put everything in. Snap on the shoulder strap. And that's it. That's the Spreadum portable outrigging case. Remember, the finished product it's embossed right into the plastic, both sides. There you go. Thanks for your time. Fish on.